simple. So simple. So welcome, 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 you guys, to our Tuesday night team Zoom. I am so excited to be here with you guys tonight. No, I am not Mariah Newsom. My name is Laura Swart. For those of you who don't know me, uh, Mariah is struggling and dealing with a very sick kiddo and just all kinds of things. So I'm stepping in to help her. As you know, her and I usually do these team Zooms together anyway. So tonight you just get me. So I apologize if that makes you sad, but this is what you get. So welcome. Today we are talking about, we titled this one, Not Your Average Newbie Training. And we called it that because we are talking a lot lately about just, you know, different things that we do on the daily that a lot of us have been doing this for quite a few years. I know Mariah has been doing this for about like four and a half, almost five years. I've been doing it about three and a half years. I know Macy, you've been doing it for quite a few years as well. And a lot of us over time, we do things that are second nature to us. And we don't necessarily include them in our new distributor training because it wasn't included in our training. It's just kind of things that we pick up over time. And we just kind of wanted to take a special moment and a special training to make sure we are sharing those tips with you guys because it can all be helpful and it all can be beneficial. Lillian, you're gonna have to give me like 20 minutes. Sorry guys, this is life. All right. So with that being said, I know I have some of Mariah's tips that she shared with me that I will make sure that we share with you guys as well. And as she was sending them over to me, I kind of chuckled because a lot of her tips are the same as mine. So, but don't worry, we will find lots for you. But I know I'm going to bring in Macy because I know Macy, I think, hopefully, yes, yes. Okay, yes. Macy has some tips she wants to share with you guys too. And remember, take notes, you guys be present in the moment. And if you are able to make sure you turn your screens on because we love to see your faces. Like I'm a hot mess, I just got out the shower. My hair's all funky and weird and the lighting always makes me look like Casper the ghost. So if I can show my face, you guys can too, unless I know a couple of you are actually at work and just tuning in and that's totally cool. We love you and appreciate you showing up. So with that being said, Macy, Go ahead and take it away. Okay, are you able to make me a co-host so I can screen share? <laughs> okay. You got it? Okay. So I'm going to be talking about the first thing I'm going to be talking about is host post organization. Um, let me see if I can screen share because I haven't done this in a while either. Okay. Can you all see my screen? Okay. Can you guys see my screen? Uh, I can't see you guys. Yes, we can see it. <laughs> Um, so the first thing I want to talk about, um, I did have it over here. So host post organization, um, I, I, I don't remember what leader taught me this, but they put their host posts into categories like May, 2023, um, April, 2023, and so on. And so I have this whole collection on Facebook where all of my May host posts are in here. Um, and so it just makes it super simple to not miss any comments. Um, I check met or I check all the comments that um, that I may have messaged already. And if they didn't respond or even read it, then I go through and I'll show you in a second. Um, for example, these all three of these people did not see my message. So I said, did you see my message on all of them? And most of the time they'll say no. And I'll say like, OK, can you message me? Because with host posts, a lot of the times it goes to their message requests. And so they don't often see the message. And so I always go back and make sure that everyone's seeing it um, so that I'm not missing out on all of these people. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk about is saving post ideas the same exact way in collections on Facebook. Um, if it'll load. Here's an example. I saved Mariah's um, giveaway post. I really thought it was cute. Um, the debate on soda or pop, um, it obviously blew up. So I saved it for an idea so that I could post on a different day. Um, and so whenever I run out of ideas for what to post, I just search through here 
And then if I've used all of these posts already, then I'll go to like Mariah's page or um, Selena's page or whoever is on here. I'll just go through and find new posts that they've posted. And um, all of these people I kind of relate to. So find leaders that you relate to. So it's not just like you're copying someone that doesn't sound like you. Find people that sound like you and um, people that post stuff that you would post, if that makes sense. And then I'm going to stop screen sharing. Hold on, I'm coming. Okay. The next thing I want to talk about is um, whenever you make like a TikTok or a reel um, or like a Facebook reel, always repurpose your content. So don't just make a TikTok and only post it to TikTok. Post it to Facebook, post it to Instagram because you're doing all the effort to make the video. You may as well post it on different platforms. Because sometimes I'll post on TikTok and I'll get 10,000 views on there. And then I post it on Instagram. I may only get 200 views. Um, but then the next time, I may it may be the opposite. I may get 10,000 views on Instagram and only 200 on TikTok. So the, you reach more people when you're posting it on all three platforms or whatever plat platforms you have. Um, and the last thing is always be learning. So hopping on Zoom, which you guys are on. Um, or if you're watching the recording, that was the next thing I was going to say. If you can't hop on Zooms, if none of them fit your time, um, then ask your upline to send you the recordings, whether it be about mindset or you're having trouble enrolling customers and find a Zoom that people talked about how they enroll their customers, whether it be through host posts, whatever. Um, hopping on power hours because sometimes I'll get on a power hour. With, I already know how to like do my own power hours, right? So if I get on, I still learn something new every single time because they may have a different tip or a different task that may be different than what I've ever done for my own business. Um, and then just checking team pages and chats for more information, learning more things there, and then always asking your upline questions, screenshotting them, all the things. But that's all I got. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was all so amazing. And I can I just first off say I absolutely love that you started with the collections. Okay, Isabel, mommy's on a Zoom, so go have daddy help you get dressed, okay? Okay, honey, can you come get her? Okay, I'll be with you. Sorry, she's not feeling good. And she's like just got out the bath and is in a towel. So we don't need all that. Okay. Welcome to life. All right. But yes, I love that you started off with the collections. And here is why I love that. Because you guys, I didn't know about collections until I was in this business for six months. Do you know how stressful that was? Like, listen, and I promoted to Ruby and almost hit Emerald in those first six months. I did. But you know how annoying it was to have to go when somebody put a host post up for me? I had a list of names and I had to go to their page and scroll and scroll and scroll until I found. Please, please, please save everything to a collection. I do my monthly as well. So I have like a May host to post an April host post. I have some, you know, like Macy said that are, you know, just ideas and content, you guys, but definitely, definitely use your collections. It's just going to help you be organized. And it was a game changer for me. Once I realized I could do that, because I was like, what, why didn't nobody tell me this for six months? So there is that. And then also the other thing is you guys power hours. Okay, clearly I didn't have a whole lot of training because I didn't know about collections for six months. I learned everything I learned by hopping on other people's power hours. If you see another team's power hours and they open it up to everybody else, please hop on. Even if you can't work because like you're at work or you're at your job and you can't necessarily do the things, but if you can listen in or copy some of the scripts or ideas that they share, please do that because that is how you are always going to be learning. And I absolutely love all of those tips. And I love that a lot of our tips are the same, but we can also tweak and add more. So I am gonna add a couple of little of Mariah's that she shared with me. They are mine as well, but she was very specific. I know that she mentioned it before, but she also, you guys, do not disturb. Do you know that we all, I don't care if you're Android, Apple, Google Pixel, whatever your phone is, do you know you have a do not disturb on it? Do you know that? Do you know you can use it? She uses hers from 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. So that way, if somebody texts her, messages her, somebody calls her, it doesn't go through. She gets to sleep peacefully. Do you know how refreshing that is? And I know, and I remember when I first started this business, I felt like every time my phone dinged, I had to run and go get it and answer. You guys, let me hear, let me tell you this. If you have not heard this ever before, please hear me from my heart when I tell you this now. There is no such thing as an it works emergency, okay? 
it is okay to put your phone down. And the other thing as well, and this hits close to me, Mariah shared this tip as well. And I actually just very recently had one of my distributors who I adored her very, very much. And I never told her it was okay to turn your notifications off. That was on me. She got so stressed out from her notifications that she walked away from the business. That was on me. That was poor leadership. And that's on me. You do not have to have notifications turned on. I do not have notifications on for Facebook, for Instagram, for anything. I hardly ever even look at my notifications. You guys, every time I go into Facebook, it says like 99 plus notifications because it doesn't tell you anything over 99. I don't look at them. I go to my host post. I do all the things like turn those off. Eliminate the excess noise if it's going to distract you, if it's going to discourage you, if it's going to stress you out. You do not need all of that. So do not disturb if it's times that you need family time or like usually after our like nighttime Zooms, that's my time for me, me and my husband. We hang out, we watch a movie, we do that because you guys, work is important and you need to put effort into your business, but you also need to make time for you. Make time for your family because otherwise you're going to get burnt out and this is all going to be for nothing, okay? Because you'll go super hard for six months and then you'll just crash and burn and we don't want that because we want long-term. Legacy is what Mariah keeps talking about, okay? You're building a legacy business. You're not going to do that if you're on your phone 24-7, okay? You've got to take time to be you. You've got to take time to decompress, take a Sabbath. But also remember that a Sabbath is earned. And I don't think a lot of people talk about that. Okay, so I know this, this wasn't even that, but you all, if you don't know me, you're gonna know me now. I go on tangents, okay? Something comes to me. I never have notes. I never know what I'm gonna talk about. I just kind of go and assume that I'm gonna talk about what I need to talk about. So on that note, you guys, yes, take a Sabbath, but a Sabbath is earned. If you didn't work for six days, you don't get to take a seventh day off. You don't get a Sabbath because you didn't earn it. Like, I love y'all, but if you didn't work for four days, what, what are you doing? You don't, you didn't earn your Sabbath, okay? The reason why it's a Sabbath is because, you know, it's all based on the Bible, okay? God created the world and did all this in the first six days, and then on the seventh day, he took a day of rest. He worked those first six days, and then he rested. In order to have a Sabbath, you have to work six days, and then you can rest, okay? And I'm not saying work, work, work all day long. But you have to work. That way you feel better and you don't feel guilty when you take that Sabbath, okay? So moving on, another couple tips that I have as well. See, I had mine written. I had collections, turn off notifications, do not disturb. Okay, so all of those have been covered. Next thing, setting timers, you guys. I know Macy touched base on power hours. I do quick little power 30s. They aren't as like detailed, but like I know Sandy gets on them every morning and Jess usually gets on them every morning with me at like seven o'clock. You guys, we get our shift done in like less than the 30 minutes we're on there. It takes us like 20 minutes and we're done. Like we are just boom, 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 right through it, okay? But how are we doing that? Because we are being intentional with our time. We are setting timers and I am sticking to them. And that's even when I'm not on a power 30 or a power hour, you guys, if I'm gonna sit down and do some work, I'm gonna set a timer because otherwise, if you're just interacting and you don't have a timer set, you're gonna end up scrolling. Who's been caught in the scroll hole? I know we all have, okay? You're just kind of scrolling and we're going and oh, that's cute. And oh, look at the puppies and the babies and the things and especially on TikTok and Reels. Next thing you know, it's three o'clock in the morning and you're like, what have I done with my life? Okay, you tell yourself you went on there to watch Reels to get some ideas for content. But next thing you know, you've gone down the real hole and you're doing nothing with your life. Okay, so set timers, okay? You can go scroll and do all the fun things. That's fine but set a timer. I am calling Macy out. I'm calling myself out, okay? Like, I will sit out there, and like at night, I'll just, next thing I know, I'm like, crap, I could have been sending messages, but, so we are all guilty of it, but I've gotten better since I started being intentional and setting timers and limiting that amount of time, okay? And then a couple other things, you guys. When I first started, I didn't know where to get content. Now, I know, me and Mariah and Macy are all working together with our daily posts that, you know, I created and we have a lot of great content in there. We have stories, we have post ideas, we have interactive ideas, we have all kinds of content in there. But you guys, here's the thing. When I first started, I didn't have anywhere to go get content. Have you guys ever heard of a place or an app called Pinterest? Okay. It's wonderful. I don't know if you're unaware, but you can get so much content on Pinterest. Okay. 
Pinterest is amazing. Go on there and search. If you just want a pretty picture of a cup of coffee, go on Pinterest and search coffee, pretty, simple. And all of a sudden you have all these pretty pictures that you can download and save the pictures and use the pictures and create stories. And how do we create stories? Okay, first you wanna go on Pinterest, get your, I also go on there for funny memes too, you guys, because I'm gonna share content for me, but sometimes I'm not in a creative mood. So I need somebody else's creativity, I'm gonna borrow it. I'm gonna go to Pinterest and I'm gonna say funny mom memes or you know, mom life sucks. You know, I whatever it may be, I'm gonna type it in, I'm gonna find a meme that speaks to me, I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna post it, okay? If you are struggling with where to get content, Pinterest is a wonderful resource for you guys to use. That's where I got a lot of my resource first couple of years of doing this before I finally like created all my own stuff. Okay. And then the other thing, the other app that I know Mariah mentioned in her tips, and I'm going to mention as well, because I use it daily is GoDaddy Studio. It used to be called Over. I still call it Over sometimes, but it is now called GoDaddy Studio. That is where I create all of my business story slides. I know Mariah said she actually updates her charts and her daily tracker in there. I don't know how she does that. So I'm going to have to ask her, but she said that's one of her tips. So that way she has her charts and her trackers on her constantly because she's always on the go. I don't know how she's updating it. I'll have to ask her, but I use it, you guys, and it's super simple and it's super easy to use. You can just upload a picture and then you can add text and all the things, save it, and then just post it to your stories. It's so simple. We'll probably do a separate quick training on how to use GoDaddy Studio, but definitely download that app. And another app while we are on apps, you guys, I was going to screen share, but I'm on my computer and not my phone, so I don't even have that app on my computer. Lightroom. Okay. You don't have to wear, I wear makeup maybe one or two days out of the year. For those of you who follow me, know me, you know, that's true. I don't wear makeup. It's just not a thing. I ain't got time for that. I don't like it. I don't know how to put it on. I haven't put makeup on since like, you know, 15 years ago. So I have no clue how to do it. This whole like contouring, looking like a zebra thing. I don't know. I don't understand it. That's not me. It's not my thing. But you guys, you don't have to have makeup caked on. You don't have to be so glamorous to have an amazing picture. All you need is good quality light, okay? You need a bright picture. And what I do is I save some presets. I actually, there are free presets you can get. Go to Google. Google is your friend, guys. If you don't know anything, Google, okay? That's how I get through life. If I don't know something, I'm gonna go to the Google box. That's just what I do. So another thing you can do though, I lost my train of thought. What was I talking about? Lightroom. Okay. You can Google presets and there are some free ones. Okay. I think I paid like $2 for like a whole set of presets like three years ago and I'm still using the same ones. You guys, it's like $2 and it's a tax write off because it was a business expense. I found $2. But basically, all I do is I upload my picture into Lightroom and I add a preset. It literally takes me two seconds. And now all of my pictures on my page have a similar like aesthetic they're all the same brightness they're all just clear and that's the other thing too just get in front of a window you guys you don't need to have all this amazing like picture perfect things every single day on my stories you'll see like my cabinets have holes in them like you guys i seriously like show your life but it doesn't have to be picture perfect, but we do want the pictures to be inviting. We want them to be light and bright. We want people to be able to see you, okay? And while we're on that topic, show your face, okay? Show your face. I know we have some amazing posts and before and afters and all the things, but people aren't gonna trust you until they know you. And they're not gonna know who you are unless they see your face. You can text them all day long, but until they see your face and hear your voice and see you moving around and know that you're not a robot, they're going to be like this girl's like, I don't even know. Be you. Okay. And like Macy touched base on too. You guys find leaders that you can connect with. Okay. Macy said she follows Mar a lot of Mariah's posts because Mariah speaks and feels and does a lot of the things like she does. I use some of Mariah's posts, but not a lot because don't get me wrong. I love Jesus, but I don't preach all the time on my page. I don't judge anybody who does, but like, I love Jesus, but I cuss a lot, okay? Like, I pray every day. I go to church. Sometimes it's on my computer. But that's not, like, my style of how I post. So, yes, I would follow her because I love her and I adore her. But I'm probably not going to get most of my content from her. 
I would probably get more content like from Ashley Mayfield because, you know, she says butthole a lot and all these other things, okay? Like, that's where I would go. Find somebody you can relate to. We don't want you to cop be a copycat, but we want you to find examples of how other people who you feel are being successful or who you like how they present the business and the products and all of this and use them as a resource, you guys. Okay. All right, da 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 da, -da. Lightroom. Notes, I know Mariah said she saves all of her potentials list on her notes in her phone. Again, I don't care, Apple, Android, Google, whatever other phones are out there, I don't even know as long as you ain't got a flip phone, like the old school flip phone, not the new fancy flip phone. You have a notes section on your phone, okay? She says she just, every month I think is how she did it, at least when we talked before. She just, it's like, you know, she'll have May DTs and May, you know, potential customers or perk members, whatever we're calling them. And she just adds their names when she talks to them. If she, they give her a date, she writes the date down. You guys use your notes. Save stuff. I know boards is a whole issue because I know boards is charging. I paid for it, but I use it all the time. So that was, that was a me call. I don't expect my newbies to do it. Like, it's totally cool if you don't. You should still be able to go in and copy the stuff and paste it. But if you have scripts or something like pricing that you use all the time, put it in your notes. Pin it to the top. That way it's always there. And then you can just go to your notes. Grab it. Here you go. All the things. Same with your um, gallery in your pictures. This wasn't even on my notes. Um, chat GBT. Oh, yes, yes, yes. There was a whole training on that. Um, Joel and Stephanie Dunn did. Um, thank you, Angelina, for mentioning that. Um, that's a whole new thing. And I think they are actually coming up with an app for the chat GPT. It's basically an AI and you can tell it what kind of post to create. I will find, I know I've shared the recording that Joel and Steph, or it was mainly just Joel that Joel did about that. I will share that again because it is worth looking into. Kind of writes posts and everything for you. Takes all the guesswork out. So you can focus on being more creative and being you but also you guys before we had boards and all these other things you know what we were doing we were using our notes okay and we were using our our galleries like our whatever your pictures are saved to create separate albums okay create an album for before and afters for story slides for business posts for all these other things Get organized in your phone and you will find that when you need to go post something, it's all so much easier. Plan out your week, okay? Plan out what you're going to be doing so you can plan your pockets of time when you're going to work your business and write out your post. Write them out ahead of time. I used to do that all the time, okay? If I knew I was going to be busy in particular, write them out ahead of time. All right. I talk a lot, y'all. Okay. Before I finish up, I had a couple more things. Pinterest, organization your website. We're, we've talked a lot about resources, you guys, because I had no resources when I first started. I had no upline, had none of that. Do you know your website's a whole wonderful resource? If you need to know if we have something that helps with stress, do you know if you go to your website, like mindfloriswork.itworks.com, and I go to the search bar and I type in stress, every single product that has the word stress in the description is going to pop up. I can go find pricing. I can find descriptions. I can find what it does. I can change the country. So I can even change the language. I don't know why I would. I don't speak any other language, but I know Sandy does. So, but I don't, but you can change it. You guys, your website is your first and foremost, your best resource because it has everything there. All right. Yes. You need to learn your website, especially if you're new. And even if you're not, if you don't know all the products, cause I don't use all the products. I have like my core. Okay, I have like my core five. Okay, because I love our products. But we have obviously more than five products. Do I know everything? There's some I haven't tried. Not a lot. There's like maybe three. But there's some I haven't tried, so I can't speak to them. But I can go learn about them. I can go read about them. Just because I don't use it doesn't mean I can't sell it. I usually don't. I sell what I talk about because I don't like sales. I just, it's, the coffee's great. It's wonderful. It changed my life. It, all the things. So. Was there any questions in the chat? Macy, do you have anything you wanted to add really quick? No, that's a no? Okay. La, 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 la. All right, I don't think I see any questions. If you have any questions, please put them in the chat so I can see them. I think I touched on most of our tips, but you guys, first and foremost, please know this is not your average newbie training. These are things that maybe your upline didn't tell you. 
okay? Use the collections, use Pinterest, get resources elsewhere. Go to the team page, go to the team chat, stay plugged in. But also, I think one of the most important ones you guys heard tonight was one of the first ones you heard. Do not disturb, okay? And turn off your notifications. That is key because this business can be amazing, but it can also be kind of addicting, especially in the beginning. Or if you're like pushing for a promotion, you're like, you know how excited you were the first time somebody put up a host post and it had like five comments and you were like, oh my God, it's okay. Those comments are still gonna be there tomorrow. If somebody was interested in losing 25, 25 pounds yesterday, chances are really good. They still wanna lose 25 pounds tomorrow. Okay, there is no such thing as a networks emergency. Do we want to have good customer rapport and get back with them in a timely manner? Yes, but it doesn't mean you have to be a slave to your phone. Remember to put your phone down, okay? Be you, put your phone down, believe in yourself. And that's the other thing too, for the love, work on yourself. Nobody told me that. I, got, I almost got burnt out. If I wasn't so desperate to make this work, I would have been burnt out. Because I didn't know about self-development until I'd been in the business for about a year. Okay. And so, what, yes, Sandy. Do, do, hang on. She's, yes. Okay, I just wanted to let you guys know, go to the VIP page. The Zoom that they had there today was amazing. They gave a lot of feedback for the new ones, new distributors and everything. You will get a lot of info right there. Go check it out. Yes, absolutely. Road to VIP. And yes, I still haven't watched that training. I still need to do that. But yes, you guys, but that's the other thing. You've got to stay plugged in. So with that being said, I am going to probably close this off. I know we're cutting it close. Oh, look at that. I have a whole minute. Yes. I could talk for an hour, you guys. I probably could just because... This is my passion. This is my heart. Am I where I want to be in this business? Absolutely freaking not. Okay. I have good days. I have bad days. But here's the thing, you guys, this business changed me. It changed my family. Okay. So I know it's the end of the thing, but I want you, you're still here. You're still hanging out. So I just kind of want to share a little bit of this because I want you to be able to take my story and take it out in the world if you don't have your own story yet. Okay. So Rewind a few years back, okay? Broke, broke. I have so much history. I'm not even going to go into all that, but just the nutshell of why I joined, okay? You guys, I couldn't even afford an 80 cent candy bar for my daughter. We were at the grocery store. We were doing shopping lists, all the things. I was a coupon queen, all of that, had everything down to the penny, okay? She was helpful. She couldn't, she wanted a candy bar. It was a Nestle Crunch bar. It was on sale for 80 cents. You know, I couldn't afford it. I couldn't buy it. And my sister had asked me to do this business with her five times. And I told her no, flat out five times. I almost blocked her. She's my sister, one of my best friends. I love her, but I almost blocked her. Cause I was like, this is a scam. It's a pyramid scheme. It's all dumb. Like products don't work, all the things. But that night when I had to look at my daughter and tell her no, because I simply couldn't afford 80 cents, I decided something needed to change. So we put it on a credit card cause we were already drowning in debt anyways, paid a couple bills late, all the things I got started. And you guys, that very next month, I was able to take her back to the grocery store and I share the pictures. I still save them. I have them on my phone. You guys, I was able to take her back to the grocery store and she was able to go do her own little grocery shopping. And I was so excited. I was watching her. She was picking out things and you guys shouldn't even pick out a lot. Her total was only like 30 some dollars. But as she's putting it on the register and she's sitting there, and the, she sees the total going up. She was about maybe six or so at the time. And she looks at me and like, she went from being so happy and excited and she looks at me and her face just falls. And she's like, mommy, that total is getting really high. Am I gonna have to put something back? I was crushed in that moment because that was her mindset. She thought that $30 was way too much and she was gonna have to put something back. So in that moment, when I was able to tell her that no, she did not need to, and that's because I earned a bonus doing this, and that's what was paying for that grocery trip. That's how I knew I was in it for the long haul with the business. And then you guys, the coffee, the coffee, skinny brew. I used to drink 12 cups of coffee a day. Could you imagine me drinking 12 cups of coffee a day? 
Mm. Okay. I was still having to crash, though. I had zero energy. I would go to the playground with the kids. They want me to play. They'd say, Mommy, please play with us. And I'd say, Absolutely not. I'm going to go sit on that there park bench. You're lucky I even brought you up here, okay? Because I was tired. I was burnt out and I was tired. Skinny Brew came out. My life changed. I drank one cup of coffee today. And that was at 6 30 this morning. And this is how much energy I have. But here's the thing, you guys. After Skinny Brew, it changed my life because it made me more energetic. It gave my kids their mom back. We went to the playground one time. And when we were done, my, my daughter looked at me and she said, Mommy, this was the best day ever. I'm so glad you played on the playground with us. Do you know how heartbreaking that was to hear that, though? Because I hadn't done that before. I mean, I had, but I wasn't, like, excited doing it. The coffee and the business changed my life. It's not just about weight loss. It's not just about those things. Remember why you're doing this and what you're doing it for. I have, since Skinny Brew launched in January of 2020, I've maybe gone three days in my life without it, okay? So if you need energy, please go get you some Skinny Brew. Okay, if you don't like coffee, I don't care. Go, go get it. Your life will be changed. And that is all, you guys. But just take the stories to heart. Always be learning. How do you save presets? Alicia, I have like a document that tells me how because I don't remember. So every time I get a new preset, I have to walk through it. But I will try and find that information for you. But you guys, I hope you took something from this. And I hope you guys take our tips, take it to heart. Go crush your business. Go get Jamaica. I would love to see all your faces in Jamaica. Um, Google the presets. Yes, Google like to find free presets. Um, and then you will download the presets into Lightroom. And that's how that will work. But yes, that is all I have for you guys tonight. I hope you had an amazing night. Thank you for hopping on with us. And I'm going to, this is recording. Mariah will get it uploaded to her YouTube. And we'll see you guys later. See you next Tuesday, same time, same place.